Right, hi all. So this is for an installation video for our hinged fuel cap for the Tenere 700. Uh, they're all billeted out of uh, aluminium here in house and um, we're quite pleased with the kit, but this is the first part of how to assemble it. So we're gonna start with assembling the actual fuel cap and then move on to um, installing it onto the bike. Uh, so we've got your um, billeted part for the top, which is uh, silver or black. For this thing, we're gonna do a silver one, so it's easier for you to uh, to see what's going on. So I'll put that one over there for the moment. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces in the kit here that, we, that we've got that we don't actually need at the moment. There's this little plastic cap that we provide, that'll be shown later in the video. Um, and then we've got five of these little cap head bolts we don't need one of those just at the moment, and we don't need the two little countersink uh, bolts at the moment. We'll get to those in a in a bit. They have got um, a Loctite applied um, to those. There's they'll be in a separate little bag, so there'll be the three. There'll be one of those cap heads and two countersunks that have got Loctite applied to them, pre-applied. So we'll set those to one side. We don't need those just yet. We also don't need the hinge mechanism just yet because we yet to get to that part. And we also don't need the rubber seal, the custom rubber seal that we provide. Um, we don't need that just yet either. So we'll set that to one side. So we start with the original fuel cap, which you all will be aware of. For this job, we need a two mil and a two and a half mil Allen key. This one's a two mil Allen key. So we'll take this apart, these four bolts on the top of here. One, two, three, four. We'll take that apart to start with. Right, now these bolts we're not using again. So they can be taken away and kept for safety to one side. Now when we pick this up, this is this, where this part comes apart. So we're gonna to need to take this apart. We pull the back from the cap and this keeps your lock mechanism. So your key matches and everything. And then we just need to be careful here. So we've got this spring so we see which way up it is, where it's going up to either side, where it's sticking up, and the, the bellied face downwards. So we'll take that out, we'll use that again in a minute. We're also taking this, the flapper, and keep hold of the little pin in it, make sure that doesn't uh, disappear somewhere. So we need that, we're gonna be reusing that. And there's also a rubber seal, we're gonna be reusing that. This we don't need anymore, that can go with the bolts. So, we start with the cap. Uh, we're gonna put the flap back in there. Make sure the little pin's in there. You've got a little slot here, two little slots to take the pin. We just drop that this way round, down into the slot there. Just make sure that that's located in that slot there, the pin. Hand underneath, just holding the, the flapper shut. Little spring back in the same way it came out. Belly in the middle, up on either side. Now on this, we've got two pins, the lugs, that one and this one, that goes either side of that little spring. So it goes this way round, either side of the spring. Ooh, okay. okay, so that's in there, so it's all seated properly. To hold that together, turn it over. This is when you're Four little cap heads. Replace those. We could have used the original ones, but they look a bit better, these cap heads. I get them blackened uh, to deal with it. Oh, and then you'll need the two and a half millimeter Allen key for this. So we'll just, we'll do these up, just nip them up and then back them off a whole turn. Do that, back it off, whole turn. Show you why that is in just a second. Right. So then we need to lift this up. We've got our seal that we had in the first place. It's got two faces on here. We've got a beveled face and a flat face. The flat face down, bevel side up. This is why we leave it a little bit slack to give us a little bit of movement. Just makes it fitting it a bit easier. 
because um, you have to sort of like manipulate this into the slot around the barrel and push it in. A bit cold in the workshop today, so it's a little bit tougher to do. There we go. Okay, so we're in there, and now we can just nip those uh, these bolts up on as we go. Don't need to be crazy tight, just nip them up. That's it, make sure that's all good and flush. And uh, yeah, that's that done. And we'll move on to the um, move on to the fuel cap uh, fitting onto the bike in just a second. We've got, just to note whilst we're here, we need these two screw holes. They'll become apparent just so you know where they are on the next part of the fitment video. But uh, we'll get to that now. Right, so, um, assembly of the cap onto the tank. Uh, I've done a bit of pre-disassembly, so it speeds up the video rather than one of my normal epic, uh, epic videos with length of them. They're uh, ridiculous, but there we go. Right, so, um, we need to take the side panel off. To take the side panel off, we've got one bolt here, another bolt here, and then we've got the three plastic uh, rib nut um, sort of quarter turn fixings on this one. Um, so we take that off, pull that back. Towards and up. And then we, you'd have that connected in, disconnect the indicator, and do the same the other side. Got that. Uh, then that leaves us with the cap, so we'll take the cap out. Uh, it was a blue Peter. This is the one we made earlier. So that's the one we just did the assembly on. So that's one we'll be putting on. Speed things up a little bit on here. Got the red cap that we gave in the um, in the kit. Showed earlier on. That just sits in there. Just stops stuff from going in there into the tank. Got a plastic um, riv rivet up here, and one the same on the other side, and then one at the front here. So we take those out, take the two out from there. We've got the two Allen key bolts, dome heads, here and here. So we undo those, take those out. Now to take this plastic cover off, I did a video of this a little a while, well, a little while ago, a while ago now, probably a year or so ago. Um, but you need to run your finger up on the inside of this plastic cover to get this off. It's like a clip, so if I hold that down, Put your hand under the edge of that there, run it up, a bit tough on the fingers, but that's off of there, and the same the other side. The other side, that comes off of there, we stop stuff from falling there. Right, so we don't need this seal on anymore, so we just take the seal out from in there. Okay, then we discard the seal, we don't need that. Got another one of those. So that leaves us with the tank. There's a seam line that runs down the middle of the tank. The bracket that we had earlier on, that we, uh, we took off of the cap when we first started, um, that's got an M3 uh, cap head doing the clamp on the back here, so we just make sure that's slackened off and the this edge here on the larger side lines up with the seam in the tank so we put that down over the top of there so make sure it's slackened off so it sits down nicely on that line that fatter side edge up with that seam line on the tank so this is the seam in the tank we line this part of the clamp the threaded section of the clamp, this edge of it just here, up with the seam. So that's in line with there. Make sure it's all the way down and then just nip that up 
don't have to go crazy but it, that one the, the clamp won't touch there it's there's a there's a gap in the clamp there don't try and keep on doing it up till it's till that touches you'll break it um, there's loctite pre-applied to those so this is the other bolt with the loctite uh, on it you've got the two countersunks with the loctite and you've got this one with the loctite um, just do the clamp up sit the clamp down onto the top of the tank push it down onto the tank and just do that up so it's nicely uh, secure. Uh, don't go too mad with it. This gap here is absolutely fine. As long as that clamp isn't moving about, uh, then we're all good. Uh, so we need to do, um, yeah, so now we can put the cover back on. So that's pretty much it there for the clamp mechanism. So we need to put this cover back on. Now this cover, we've got to get it underneath this part of the, uh, this part of the hinge mechanism. Uh, so this bit needs to sit underneath that. So you have to be a little bit forceful with it and flex it, and push it down just there in front of the clamp as we're pushing it back, just to get it tucked underneath there and keep the pressure on it because we don't want it pulling the clamp back up again. Um, now it's been tightened up. So then we, we're over that now. Just clipped on that side actually, we're just going to clip that slightly. Right, just clip that. So, so we don't want it clipped down which makes fitting this the uh, the seal that we showed you earlier on, the rubber seal, the new one, makes that slightly easier. So, work that round. Now we can just go home and press that home, clip that down, go around that seal, make sure it's pressed in there. Right, that's pressed in all the way around. Now properly, right. So we take our new cap, we take the little M3 counter sunk, so it's little tiny ones so we have to be careful with earlier on. And we need our two mil Allen key. Now there's two holes, so you'll have seen them when you took it apart here and here. So that needs to go, we have to hinge that up there and that goes in in the two holes there. So there'll be a little still photo showing that. tricky this is when you need like an extra so we get that there just get the first one in that's why another reason this little red cap's useful make sure you don't drop anything in it keep the other one in there bit of it. So just support the weight of the cap just whilst we're doing those two up. Again they've got Loctite pre-applied. That's it. Take the red cap back out, make sure the seal's pressed down so it's well down past the face of the, the top of the tank there. That's the uh, the hinge cap. Um, yeah, uh, so reassembly for all other bits and pieces, just the reverse of what we've done already. And uh, yeah, enjoy.